don't feel like it fits their play style and they're not really to put it on the like a best of three because they don't have time to work on it. Buck with like a Slardar is always good. Slardar. Oh yeah, you know. Wow. Just on cue. That's why he has so shirts cool. and he's just handing them out like uh, I mean, candy out here. Dishing it. Nah, we... <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> the hand yeah, action. Yeah. You guys didn't get to see the hand action. That made it so much better right there. Dish. Just dish in out. No, but you're right. Puck Slardar and well. We saw Kyle Five by far the MVP of last game. If we did do a Sennheiser Dyer survey, I think it would it would be Kyle. Up yeah. in the lead. Did he there. beat you in a street fight? Yeah, he would. Kyle would beat. <laughs> are you serious? I they, mean, if Bulba beat you, I'm yo, pretty okay. sure. Like, Quinn, would, the, <laughs> the stream voted that Bulba could beat me in a street fight. No, would you I mean, agree? That, that's a joke. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would whoop ass. <laughs> Ten Peter, what do you think? Does, he has no opinion. He has no so. opinion. He, know, he, would, he, would, he would be for me, though. He doesn't want Five anything to deal with Bulba. Yeah. Would you yeah. beat Peter in a street fight? Yeah, I think so. I think Peter's oh, more of a pacifist than he, he protrudes. You don't think he's got an Protrude. inner animal? What? You don't think he's got an inner animal? He'd I think bring he it does, out. but it's like Whoop a squirrel you. or something. <laughs> he's got the inner squirrel in him. I just drop him with my inner raccoon. But Earth Spirit, that's a Jarek's classic. Great versus Puck. Great setup already with the Wyvern too. We see those Ten like last game too. They just use the curse. You can set up a stun silence really nicely for the early games. Good for the counter initiation against Slardar too. Hero yep. like sits in the back and then stuns from afar. I think it's kind of interesting that they didn't touch Night Stalker. Starting, it wasn't banned last game. Starting either. to not be banned as much. I guess. I mean, OVP was really mad about it, right? Because they're like, this is the easiest uh, Night Stalker plus one game ever, and Dara then they just didn't pick it. VP just went silent. To be fair, <laughs> Lil's like really good at Night Stalker. So it's like one of those things where it's, it is True. like, even though he's kind of a simple hero mechanically, it's like, he is a hero that if you specialize like Lil does in the hero, you, you will. Like, I'll see games that I think some of my heroes are good in, and then they'll never pick them, and like, I'm like, oh, that would have been a free game for, like, life yeah. And that's just, it's just different how each player thinks, so. Five Everyone's view, right? I think yeah. Night Stalker is pretty tough, just because, like, you have that small timing window to really make those plays come out early on, and if you mess them up, you can actually If you miss that you. snowball, like, you just yeah. are useless. You yeah. can actually just become completely worthless. And how is that different than Slardar? It's not really, actually. I mean, they just do it in different oh, ways. Geez, Slardar, like, kind of has... Slardar has to take that time off to get his blink, and you have to make sure you know when that is. That's actually the hardest thing to gauge on a support Slardar, because... Unless you're Kyle. Unless you're Kyle, you can just run around for 25 minutes and get a lane blink and still be effective. Yeah, that was... Yeah, I think the Night Stalker, uh, in general, can be pretty good against the Slardar, because there's this window, Ten like, during the, the first night or after, you know, this first four to five minutes where Slardar is reasonably effective in the lanes, where he kind of wants to chill remaining. in some spot, maybe hit some creeps, get it, like, six or blink or some crap, and... Batman just flies around the tower and dives yeah. him. It's like very hard to get, actually get a blink anywhere. Also, in like not the way Kyle plays it though. Yeah, Kyle well, didn't in, sit in the lane. In mid team fights, the entire game. <laughs> later on, you pop your darkness. Slaughter can't see anything, and you just throw urns on him constantly. Yeah. You can't blink either. He actually just ruins your hero. It's very hard for the the hero to play the game. Same with Puck. You just get silenced. It's very. Yep. You just get you know wrapped on towers. Slaughter is a vision hero, despite the fact that he's like a blink. Yeah, you really need that vision. Medusa banned out, even though it wasn't touched the last two games. This time, Kyle sees something he doesn't like with the draft if a Medusa was there. And I like I like banning these types. I think Tide's probably the hardest counter in the game to Slardar, like in general, just because Slardar wants to blink crush anyone he finds. And I'm surprised they didn't ban Medusa last game, but I guess they were like prepared for it in Dying. some way with their last pick. Uh, but like Tide, just you can't blink crush amp him. He just cracking shells it off. So he's a hero that can walk at you and make it really hard to push Slardar. Yeah. I so, think something uh, pretty interesting is that the uh, OG has had oh, first pick geez. two times in a row, so Cole may have either chose second pick yeah, or died. They probably deferred. Yeah. They've been deferred. deferred. I heard about that, right? Yeah, they were deferred. Wait, is that a who thing? Is here? Uh, that's, I that's saw a it on Kyle thing. I was sitting there. Uh, he wins the coin toss and then defers. Okay, wait, you're allowed to do that. Well, yeah. but apparently I've never seen. Apparently he had did it, and then OG said, "Well, so we your pick, back. so we defer the defer." Yeah. And then it was literally me just Five hating life at the time because so the game wasn't starting and these two were just clowning. <laughs> I was sitting I next not to Blaze. Heard that one. I was sitting next to Blaze and he was just like, as soon as they were like, we defer the defer, Blaze like, I'm going upstairs and I'm handling I'm out of it. I'm out of it. I'm just going up there and telling them this is a joke. Come on, guys. <laughs> I mean, it, that Kyle, Kyle likes playing mind games, right? It's not a bad thing, right? No. I mean, it can't hurt to can. try. Can't Fly hurt to try. was, dude, Tal, Tal was had like the biggest grin on his yeah, face. They were doing did. the camera pan yeah. back and forth. They were, they were chuckling yeah, about it. Yeah, they were chuckling, but I mean, were the viewers chuckling? So here's the fourth Probably. I was chuckling. I was chuckling. Like, like Chucky from Rugrats. People say I look like him. You say that a lot. Well, why do the? Did why you, would are they you just say reaching for you compliments? Me? You don't look like Chucky. Well, thank you. There I kind of do though. You're so nice, Fog. Yeah, I'm just you know. Thanks. I know he. Was, I know what he's reaching. Who for. determines if it's good or bad? Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. 
Chuck, uh, no one liked Chuck in Rugrats. Yeah. Like, literally kinda, no one did. Yeah. I like Chuck. Dude, I just realized Phil and Lil are kind of like Chessie and Limp. Except, well, they're both guys. and Well, they're twins. Phil and Lil? Yeah, he's from talking about from Rugrats. Rugrats. Not oh, Phil, I... the EG manager. Oh, yeah, Phil. Lil. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he should. You're yeah. a little young there. I caught the reference. You're a little young. I watched, I watched it. Well, there. The Brewmaster. OG Brew. That's for Brew. It's been a bit. They didn't pick it once for a CG and it wasn't banned. This game, they will scoop it up. So we, do we all agree that that's most likely a four position profit? Yes. Yeah, I think they're Ten picking an off lane here three. and having some five slaughter or something. Yeah, they, I mean, you don't like the, five you don't like the puck off lane? Uh, oh, I guess, I guess, yeah, okay. It could be that too, I guess. Could it, could they this... saw something Kingwin like? Didn't Kingwin run it safe lane? Am I wrong? Add the puck? No, the, the nature's profit. profit. I th we did I see that one down. It was, I don't know if it was King. Wayne. It wasn't them. It was somebody, but I know they ran that carry and Chantress, stuff like that. But yeah, I like this pick. Thrown here. Doom versus Brew. Classic. They also have, like, literally any lane setup they can get, they want. Besides, I mean, actually, I believe Chessie said he likes carry Slardar, so I can't even rule that out. Very interesting. Unlikely versus White. Unlike. Yeah, it doesn't look like a good but carry Slardar game more. Jesse's played puck in the safe lane as well. Cole just this is this is where VP would say we can't do anything. Cole is who they are. It's best to like not try to read their draft as much as like what's good for us, what 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 fits our game plan. Because I agree. I, I mean, I actually play against Cole a pretty good amount, and I, he's absolutely right. You literally just look at the drafts and you're like, what? You don't know what lanes they're going. You don't know what they're looking for. You, like you just have to pick your own game. I think. Oh. Okay. My goodness, is this the game three brood mother? That's really cool. I think I was thinking about what safe winner they can pick that would like actually enjoy sitting there and chilling against those heroes. They could have TB'd potentially if that wasn't a doom, um, and had him sit there with the wyvern. But once they pick the doom, this brood is like it's really cool because it shores up their lanes a lot. I think the curse spirit can potentially play around brew. This whoever you know, either this doom or slaughter, whichever one's farming, is gonna have a really tough time up top. What do they usually pick with the brood? Because they do this often. I've seen Notel play this time and time again, and they have Rezo on some hardcore carry mid. I'm not actually sure. I can't I... remember which ones it, are. it is. Maybe Shadow Fiend. They oh, definitely should pick a hero that can like be aggressive with the ah, spear and yeah, 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 no, I, I Shadow I, Fiend. I think it was SF. That. I think it was SF, the one that they've done it with before. DP is pretty good this DP game. Too. Yeah, it's not a great brood pairing probably. Um, they don't or, really have split push though. Yeah, I mean it's it's a solid DP game. I don't know how brood DP fours are together seconds. though. They just might have issues with like the profit. Even though the profit's a four, they could have like profit puck split pushing Five issues. Have they ran Rezo on? I think he played DK at MDL, right? I think he played like a DK oh, carry kind of thing from mid. Yeah, they they actually talked about they copied like the Ramsey thing. They, they copied it right. I'm yeah. pretty sure they've done that before. I don't know if it's this game it's an option, but I think it might it could be versus slaughter because you just have that innate armor. Yeah, it's a solid DK game. It may be a little strange for their lanes, though. First, yeah. will only have one lane to play around, right? Okay. Or naturally, he'll just be playing around the off lane. Like the PL I thought he wanted more of a super carry, but that's. I'm trying to think of like, at least what I've seen lately Five from OG. Man of the sun. Maybe they're looking for like an illusion type hero again. Don't Battle Naga still in the pool. They played it a few times. Storm. 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 That's more of a. Huh. Back Hard I, carry. I didn't expect that one though either. Sin. Maybe they're afraid of the burst. I mean, doesn't Brood have a pretty hard game against? Oh, them it's, it yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. Sven just absolutely free. I was thinking they're gonna ban for the counter to this pick, but you're right. There. Well, last pick for complexity here. There's a, a Brood and a Storm, two kind of slippery weird heroes you don't see every day. How do you get in the mind of Kyle right now? What are they gonna get? Hey, you gotta go Zen, I think. Got a lot of, they've got a lot of time too. Kyle's gonna keep his options open. He's got 90 seconds. They're gonna pick a hero that lanes against. Who would that be? You say? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't even put like a bristle back past him. And what? We have not seen that hero. In uh, I'm saying, like, I know time. they love that hero more than other teams. Yeah, yeah I know. I, I, I was just, just thinking. There's like, I'm trying to. It's hard to see without the hero list, but there's, like a decent amount of carries that kind of just farm with. Uh, Kyle's got something in his mind right now. He's telling them right now. He's, he's there's like, like troll. It's like okay. Yeah, troll's not bad either. Well, I think Kyle's hero's really fine. teaching him a lesson right now. Describing exactly what he wants like, yeah. this hero to do. He already has it in mind. Now Chessie's getting into it. I love these cameras. Me it makes too. me so happy. Uh oh, look at the bristle back. Oh, the yeah. Team Freak's Team Freak's dude, I'm ready. I'm ready, dude. Oh. He's like, let me look at these talents. 
I mean, let me read exactly what this hero does. Is BSJ the king? We're gonna find out in 30 seconds or so. Oh, he's put. He's decided. Set yeah. on BSJ. Please. Dude, what if Z Freak plays the bristle? Prediction <laughs> of the. <laughs> oh Four my position god. Bristle. The meta. Is it gonna shifting. happen? Is it gonna happen? I would actually. I mean, it was actually on Z Freak's screen. It Give was. it to me, Kyle. Let's see. I'm actually really excited now. Right we're now. Just, now we're just hyped you up. You give him a shirt if he picks it. I, I probably should. If he wins. Yeah. No. He actually already has a shirt. I oh, it's oh the bristle back. Oh, BSJ, gosh. the king calls it. What can I say, you know? So and it is going to be 15% more likely to pick the right heroes. Promo code that. And Nature's Prophet for Z Freak. Chessy on the bristle. Okay, but seriously, why have we not been seeing bristle back as much? What's, what's wrong with him as a hero? Just come like the new ancients, the prowlers. Just like I mean, I guess they're not so new, but like compared to these other ancient farmers in the past, like they have this accelerating tools with with stacks. Like he can't clear them fast enough because they just regen the entire camp. So yeah, like uh, like the spins and the juices and stuff kill it plenty fast enough. But that's why I think Bristle kind of fell off. He just can't clear those ancients anymore. So these like tanky uh, ancient farmers just like. Pull way ahead of him, tinies, stuff like that. So they're going to try to ma match this Bristle versus the Brood and put Doom in 1v1 yep. versus Brew? The goal is, like, if yeah. you're against Brood, you just want to have your carry not care about the Brood, so you don't have to, like, because the Brood is going to be alone all game, so you don't want to have a carry that needs help, because then you lose all the other lanes. Yeah. And this hero loves Soul Ring. Yeah, oh, oh, the, oh, yeah, the new Soul Ring must be sick. Yeah, yeah versus I didn't think brood. Of that. It's actually the dream. Chassis hype. And they actually, like, that, that hero can surprisingly be kind of like a Tower Sieger. With the uh, Warpath stacks. Oh yeah, he's not bad damage output wise. Bad. So they do have the brute to like throw him up and fight. And they have, yeah, they do have. That's the one thing. But they do have, you know, they have Roche potential too with that. They have a lot of physical coming with that on top of goo and uh, corrosive pace. All right, boys, we haven't really done much today. Who are you, who are you taking here? Game three to move on. To the points. Am I allowed to not pick Cole? I think I have to pick Cole. I literally said, you know, you hey, I'm, I'm going with Cole. To. I'm going with Cole. Honestly, like I like their draft again. Like uh, I think this game though, so I, I will go with Cole. Just gut feeling. I think the Bristleback's gonna own. TCNC. Uh, I think the storm pick is kind of bizarre, um, so I, I think I'll say Cole. Og, my boy. Jerex to Earth Spirit, let's go. Alright, taking it, I'm just gonna chill. Good luck, have funds come out, the what? good luck. I wanna know your opinion, Grant. Nah, I'm good. Chilling, watching some Dota, casting Dota. Ky I mean, it. you, you say Jerex Earth Spirit when Kyle's playing Slardar. So, are you serious? I'm the Kyle <laughs> Slardar. I don't know. If you number watched one last posi game, but... four position player in a. Uh oh, he rolls forward. Oh, Kyle, Kyle already breaks this. He breaks the. Oh. What a player. Bruce smoke. Yep. We were talking about it just now. It doesn't matter what he is. Because he broke it really early, but you know. Jarek's looking Moo. Stand away back. Looks like Moo's gonna block from middle. They may try and get some deep ward, like either behind. You know, more the, the tier one mid or something, or some ward that looks up between those tree lines at the top lane, so they can see where the heroes are. Because they really need to get these lanes right. Because yeah. if Brood's not set up in the right lane at the start, it's like really annoying for this hero to switch lanes. You see that that ward actually spots the dire ward spots out the uh, supports of OG in the top jungle. Jarex about to steal some rune. Like this new carry hero blocking the mid lane is, I think it's even nicer in these kind of games because you don't know what lane the bristleback wants to go mm -hmm. in, so yeah. you can go either lane. Oh, Lamp, he's gonna lose one. He doesn't know that yet, though. Uh, Which he's gonna get three. I think if they still gave experience. Oh, he's gonna. Okay, it made more. Is he uphill? Oh, barely. Calculated. There gets a little bit of hassle. That's 120 damage there. They are gonna get the bristle against the brood matchup. Yeah, so they got the lanes right. Yeah, that's really good. Only one lamp feels like a little, but yeah, they got the lanes right. Like you said, no tail. We've seen him run it middle. We've seen him run it in all three lanes. So done by them. Middle two on two. Jarek's as well as Kyle sitting here, limping Rezo and crush off on Rezo. Just hits him up a little bit. That orb of venom value. Oh, I wish Kyle would have ate that tree when he places it. <laughs> like, he could have. He had time. It was slow. I've been noticing that a lot, actually. Yeah. People just put down their tree. They take a second to yeah. kill. If you're just spamming eating your tango versus yeah. mid laners when you gank them, you're going to eat their tree. Oh, take a lot of damage. He's he level against one. Four. That's my gold next pup I ever have to place. Dude, just you try to steal their tree. It actually uh, ruins their wait, lane. You're, wait, but you're right, C since he did get Infernal Blade level one instead of getting a creep. Is there a certain reason? Uh, I mean, there's no one else to take his lane level one if he wants to go try and eat a creep. And if they know he has the creep, that creep eat skill, the power, what's it called? Oh, Zach got tower chaining him. Tower's on, Zach. Oh, he got the courier, though. That's. Is that worth. 
Oh, if they get first, if they get first, they get second blood. Here it is. All the trees. I think it's better if they don't get the kill, but it's fine if they do. Oh, On the storm, you back, so yeah. Quickly. Yeah, because he can't come back. Yeah. It's just good for Lamprey getting a quicker double yeah, null. Yeah, it's very nice. Monster. He'll get a double null now. The storm's gonna have a pretty rough, rough landing. And Earthspear got first blood, right? So yep. that means Rezo's, that, yeah. Rezo's broke. They're gonna have to babysit him really hard. He is so broke. Oh, look at look at Z Freak. Again, instantly keep being top. And this is why you have the bristle back, so your supports can just do whatever the hell they want. Lightstone enough. Kyle? Yep. That over Venom, so. It will be Kyle. Looks like he might go down. He sprints. Jarex gets another kill, but Moo. I like right. your TP nice. to the tower. Yeah, that's super good. If you TP the base, it's like really bad. The kill's super not worth. But even still, it's not the greatest. I think he used the Scorched Earth, and he only has two tangos left. He so did not me. use Scorched Earth. He hasn't leveled yet. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. He's well, he got the Seder oh, creep, so it's over. Cares. So broken, it's man. over. All right, so his lane's fine. Oh, yeah, Both? CC and C. There's an Uncrossable under you if you want it. I'll pass. <laughs> I'm sure Bulb is tough. He's been out of the fridge for yeah, like a solid couple yeah, hours I'll, now. I'll super pass. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, top lane, S4. Super pass. Getting harassed. This Infernal Blade. <laughs> Last game, he went one. Oh, no, one Rezo. A lamp, you mean? Oh, he's got oh, that salve, man. He got the salve to save himself on limp. Z Freak is everywhere, dude. I would love to know, like, little and no one's reaction to watching Z Freak play the four position. But top lane, they're going in on Moo. Eats a tango, but it's a this is a three on one. He is healing. Jax holding the stun. Yeah. He has four stick charges. Can't get him off. It's always important. You never use a stun until they start running max distance out of range of you. This is three to four, three minutes in. Very action packed. And bottom lane, we haven't been watching it. It's 20 to 1 against 13 and 1. The top two see us in the game, though. Yeah, it's a, it's a bristle favorite matchup. Yeah. yeah. And it's it's like really not what you want to see whenever you have this brood. This hero thrives whenever you're just freely taking the tier 1, taking the tier 2, hitting and the tier 3. Forcing multiple re like reactions. Oh my oh, goodness. No, Rezo. Rezo. Oh, nice. Jarex gets the perfect one off. Rezo's still in a lot of trouble. Limp, one more attack. It's not enough. Z Freak actually might die for this, but no, no Arctic burn yet. No one's dead. Oh. I dare him to TP to Let's kill the storm. Okay, oh, yeah. the shoes. Oh. The shoes. Are <laughs> you <laughs> serious? He's dancing on the haters oh, right now. <laughs> he just tap danced on him with his tap shoes. <laughs> Rezo not going down though either. So no one, no one dies in that whole engagement. I can't believe nobody died. What a, what a game. This is. Dead. It's weird when game one's kind of slow and game three's the, you know, you, usually teams want in an elimination, right? Play a lot safer. This up. game is just all into it. There we go. No invisibility on Brood. It's pretty hard to play. kill a Brood, though. Yeah, he was really in a cliff. There you go. <laughs> Once you get corrosive, it feels like that girl might be a little... Slaughter actually yeah. Slaughter owns Brood as the game goes on. No-Till really needs really to get hard. to use Courier, though. They're sending it mid again because Vereso's getting punished. He really needs the soul yeah, ring. It actually... Gold. It actually kills your lane if you don't get it uh, right now. Safe lane Roll comes here. in, tries to get Z Freak, can't quite get him. He still has the kick. Oh, he goes for the double. Can't quite get Moo. Just TP. Z Freak, can he get off the time? Oh, the oh, Infernal Blade. The Infernal Blade? That was in a crit. That was like. a cancel attack. Yeah, nicely done. All right, he does get the soul ring. Now Rezo. 13 3. Puck's only 18 1. It's not as bad as it looked. He did die. But Storm's their carry, so it's kind of like okay. a little worse that he's you know, equally shut down. Puck also hasn't had to buy any more region, whereas I'm pretty sure Storm's bought multiple salves, multiple yeah. tangos to try and stay afloat in the lane. And it doesn't actually get any better for Storm as it goes on. Like, it just gets progressively worse as Puck gets more points in orb. But what if is... she hits level 6 before you do, that's a big... What do you want, oh, if you're OG, what do you want them to do right now? How, how do you make... Is it just on Jerex right now? I think you keep feeding off of this Doom. The fact that S4 has, has had such a nice lane. He'll have 6 soon. I think you want to play around the split and you know, kill the Doom with the split. Pressure the top tower. I think guard the storm till six, though, right? Yeah, most I think likely. Because Puck has a level advantage, so you want to probably be near him. Once Coil comes out, it's an instant death. But once Brew is six, they can't really wrap on the mid tower. It's a little awkward, oh, so they'll probably come to the Brewmaster and try and take the offline tower or the yeah. safe lane. Kyle, running in circles here, and you see they are defending Rezo mid. They have both supports there just waiting. He's still a little bit away from six, though. Now S4 in a little trouble, he's getting crushed. Z Freak with the rotation again. Not level 6 up through. He wants to get level 6 Candy in time? Nope. That was so good. Too bad right before the 6 game comes up. Z Freak is ganking every single lane. 2 1 and 3. I just, and he killed Courier. It's so fun. I've, I've gone back and watched. Like, this, this is one of those guys you go back and watch replays. Like, how does someone. Like, no one else does this, right? How does he do it himself? And then it he just does even more than you. He always. I, I'm not even kidding. Probably for two years now, he's been asking for. Nature's a profit support every game. Yeah. 
And then he did play it one time during the Dream League major qualifiers and bought a Meteor Hammer, and I... He I, was so triggered. I, it was garbage. Was it. Like, you just... Okay, we won't even get into that. It was garbage, so... when you agree, right? Meteor Hammer's garbage. Of course. <laughs> it is pretty garbage. I don't know, man. Sprouted a Meteor Hammer. About it. He killed the Storm the Spirit. Combo. He killed the, the Storm combo. Spirit with it. Yeah. He also killed their dreams going to a major with it, but... <laughs> Chassis <Jesus>. bottom. <laughs> Savage, man. Call. I see him. Yes. But Sol Ring, almost a Vanguard, <laughs> looks like coming out on the Bristle. It's is this just going to be... It's just going to be a brew hiding him, right? Every fight? Yeah, most likely. Maybe kill a move like you guys said. Quick kill. Yeah, it's pretty nice. They're not going to get that much damage on the tower, though. They'll get some, but I don't think it's going to die. The Doom will TP back up. Basically, no fear of dying, I think, at this point. Because he can't really pressure any other lanes that well. Uh, and the Furion is doing plenty, like pressuring Nib with the puck and stuff, so it's better for him just to TP up here and hold the tower, most likely. I'm really curious if the Bristle goes like the SNY kind of like run around hit people build, or if he's going to go more like the Radiance build. Like the. Because he's going to have problems, I think, getting kited. What would you like to see as a uh, carry? Player. I mean, he's got a Slardar. So, like, usually, I think the more Radiance build, but with the Slardar, I think he's got to go for the right click, like oh. the SNY oh. BKB Basher, I think. Kyle with the timing swimming around mid. Didn't even have to do anything, just ran in. Yeah. yeah. He, Jarek just killed himself on the... And now Motel. He has the soul ring now, looks like he has his... Oh, I like this rotation to avoid no, the missile. There we go, Limp. Hanging some damage up. Kyle just gonna stun these, maybe get some experience. Has to avoid the damage, and look at this. Back door the tower here. Has ulti now. I really do think Sardar, like, owns... Uh, Bro Broodmother as the game goes on. Two. Harder and harder for no to play this game. Yeah, you might hit some window eventually if you're stacked where you can get a Manta and you have enough damage where you can actually fight the Bristle. That is true. But his he hasn't had that like dream start. Yeah, his laning stage has been so rough. He may not hit that timing at like an appropriate point. Even though he's like top net worth, like second net worth in the game, he's this isn't exactly what like this is not mean a good laning stage for be second net worth in the game. Like, yeah, you want to be top net worth by one and a half k. Yeah, that because farm on her is just like not as valuable for. There you go, Dyer gets bottom tower there. And it's not just about the net worth, it's about the pressure, because so far she really hasn't applied very much pressure at all. She lost her tower before she... Yeah, and this Brewmaster can only do so much. He's like hitting top tower and getting as much as he can, but Storm is going to take a lot of time. Brood's got a rough game as far as matchups go. Like, uh, it's very hard for OG to actually do anything. Their only hero that did okay doesn't really make space very well against Dyer's heroes. Look at this, he's diving behind a tier 2 right now. Kicks away cares. level 4.5 on Earth Spirit. Kyle's about the same. Rezo is gonna haste in. Whoa, hello. Not even a casual cloak for a Han player? I'm surprised. <laughs> right? <laughs> They casual cloaks? I'm sure he'll get one now. Dire Ooh. Courier dies to no-tail, okay. though. That's nice. No-tail. Much place. I like how he's adjusting for the fact that he can't do it. Oh, they they called it. He breaks it. Kyle. Little late. They didn't have vision on him. Now they do. Now he's running away. Dude, he's so just annoying. So man. Would, if Kyle hit that first stun, would he have been dead? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think they have damage. Top lane, though. If you Until they have damage, I don't think they have the damage. Yeah, that's a huge kill to do. Chessy during the hold scenario, just pushing bottom. Warpath stacks, as we mentioned. He's like a dead hero at this point, point, right? Like he just, yeah. you can't really go to him, like unless you plan to gank him with four or five heroes. Yeah, he's just gonna stay dead. I like how Chessy's playing the the moon role this game too. Played in the off lane, and now he's just solo pushing lanes, and they can't do anything. Uh, I think it's really good that he's not farming ancient stacks this game, and that he's just running yes. down lanes like a nutcase. Like, they actually can't deal with it at all. If he was farming ancients, it would relieve a lot of pressure. Deep freak's gonna go down here. Damage on the tower, but a nice kill. Even S4 agrees. Took me a second. It's alright, we'll wait for you. Yeah. But doesn't. <laughs> by, by, uh, by Chessie pushing in this lane, doesn't it give a ton of farm to this Wyvern just sitting down here too? Are you not worried about. Well, you saw what someone. he did like to the Earth Spear, where he just like walks at you. He forces multiple heroes, like the Storm's there too. You can't just defend it as one hero. Keeping people down there. Yeah. Frees up the rest of the map for his team. Yeah, what they could potentially do is bring, you know, instead of that Puck and Slaughter smoking to try and kill this brood, they could come down there and rap on the Winter yeah. Wyvern so and the tower And you never know down. when it's coming, because he's, oh. he's continuously doing the same thing over and over. Kyle's one experience off. Just gets it. Yes. And now he goes uphill no tail. This is actually... This is more annoying than the Invis one. <laughs> He's gonna always go up, though. 
You can't farm as hard though, because your people can actually see you and kill your yeah. spiders a lot. And now if, if he gets corrosive on him right, that just kind of ruins his game. It's very good, yeah. We they don't jerks. exactly have the hero to like kill with it though. This kind of stuff like this, just running in, forcing reactions, is really, really good. Like Moo is just chilling up top farming. Cole is so happy right now. Look at the net worth, like he's got a full drum at base. Not including the third, they have the top three net worth. Drum and wand at yeah. base, flying it in. Feels like uh, Chessy as well as Moo just been top and bottom respectively, right? They can't do anything, but middle lane limp. In a little bit of trouble. Nice stun out. He has the coil on. Can he get out? No, sir. That's a that's a pretty big kill, actually. Getting this mid tower will be a big deal. They can. Chessy's now here, though. Level 11 as well. This mid tower is important. Yeah, it's like it uh, gives the brute access to the dire angels. Blink dagger on S4. Z, is he going in? Looks like he might. Yep, gets the no matter what crit. Jerks is gonna help lock down Moon. This looks a lot like. Like game number one already. Yeah, you yeah. saw some nice kills from Cole, but then huger kills from OG. They gotta get a uh, acceleration on Rezo because he's a bit behind in this game. They don't win the game if like it's just a passive farm work because complexity just applies all the pressure. So it's double lift. Courier does respawn now. Five will get spotted. Get vision. Know where he's, he's got, going. He's got max sprint now. He can zoom across the river. Here we go. Watch him. He needs a blank when he's moving. Yeah, if the brute just stays in the river, yeah, he's, he's, he's gonna kill it. <laughs> Look at this ward, these wards coming up by Cole. Again, every game they've been placing very deep aggressive wards to try to control the map. Let's get the profit. He's going for the blade. Yeah, he did that last oh, game. He switched to meteor hammer. He's gonna grab I would have known. My, my spidey sense would have known. They have Jerex, oh my god. Dude, that quill spray with it, oh my goodness. Yeah. So much damage. S4? Clearing out the creep wave. Like you said, both middle towers are so important, and both teams are showing up to defend it. So he's going for the solar crest build, the old build on Solbuck, I think I saw. Vanguard solar. Yeah, he did go solo. Yeah. So I think he just wants to have Roche, I guess. I think it is. I think he did. I think it's just, oh. it's good for Roche. It's, I mean, it's good for he Storm. He needs the pipe if he's falling after you. <laughs> Whoa! Very cool. He tried. He tried to get that coil off. Kyle just wants to get that corrosive haze off. Can't quite. Now Chessy in a little bit of trouble. His back is turned. Nice silence. And oh, no kill. No kill with the snipe standing there. Limp's in a lot of trouble now as well. Looks like he will get out. Kyle does get a stun, but you need to be careful. Moves there as well. He gets a doom off, and this should be a kill. Will they get the knight? They're going right. for it. He got it. I mean, there's so many broodlings, right? He knew. Still, he goes down, and now they're gonna lock him into place. This could be a double kill. See, Kyle goes down instantly, broods around. They're gonna get a pull on the move. He does get an infernal wow. blade. Not gonna be enough. And that was quite a series of events. They're just out him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that was this, beautiful support movement. This puck has fallen off quite a bit. He had such a nice landing phase, and now the one death, he TPs to top to try and deep push a little bit, and then suddenly all the pressure is. Like, it's just not being applied anymore. Storm gets a couple kills, and now this puck feels really scary at mid-game if you're not really far ahead against Storm or a Spirit. It's very hard to farm waves, because you can yeah. just die at any point. Do you think you should go more like the Yules instead of Blink, or do you think you just... I think you probably have to go Blink, and even Yules, I don't think is enough. Like, you get zip-pulled from a mile away into uh, Earth Spirit yeah. Kick, and you still die, I think. No item you think that will ha prevent that from happening. You need like a, a Lincolns or something, but that's, you know, a long yeah, ways away. that's obviously a lot more expensive. Now, G, they've taken back over the map. Kyle did just get a D ward, but OG going for a smoke. Is this a Roche smoke or a kill smoke? They do have the Deso. The Deso's complete. coming on the courier. T. Bring the courier, you smoke in, but then you bring the courier. What if, if they have a ward? I, if they can take the Roche from Cold, it's actually so enormous. Like, Aegis, Storm, and then they deny it from the Bristleback when it's going Solar Crest. And they have a Slardar, too. Yeah, it's like, that's actually the dream play for OG. Kyle smoked up. He might know something's up now. Chessy just whopping that mid tower. They're going for Moo. They get in. Can't get the Doom off on him. He's going to stun him up. Moo might be in trouble. No tail pops his ulti. They should be able to melt Moo pretty quickly, but he will miss it. He will go down finally. And look at this puck just gets pulled in. He's dead. And everything's going wrong for complexity right now. And look at it. There it is. Bristle just tight it in the air. Throw him down. They're isolating him, but Kyle's coming in now. Will help a little. Z-Freak's here now as well. They're trying to turn this fight. But man, Chessy drops. That's all their cores. All they have left is two supports. He was on cooldown there, so just go in. Great boss and get his ult off, guaranteed. Puck got nothing off of it. Puck's yeah. Dead. 
Uh, it's kind of what happens. Like they were sort of forced into this bristleback pick. And while it was it was a very good pick, it's it's not like this hard carry that sort of gives you this easy win condition. You have to play fast. You can't make many mistakes. Yeah. You have to keep the tempo up. And if you give up a couple kills, lose map control, suddenly you're playing bristleback against wyvern, and you're gonna get thrown up in the air. And the game sort of gets a little annoying to this play. Game just got really hard, they, right? Like a couple. I think they just really rely on doom in all their fights. I he's gonna go to the river there, he's gonna get kicked. Yeah, coil. Oh, nice coil. They're gonna go back in. Here comes Z Freak keeping as well. Nice boulder. Doesn't hit Z Freak, does hit Kyle. Will he get out? Yep, but oh, no tail. Out. He will not. Will Kyle die? Oh, did so much damage. Spawn Spider was yeah. on. Uh, he took the damage town on the Spawn Spider. Is there like a maybe a disconnect on Cold? Because Z Freak got bottom tier two at the start of that fight and then showed up late. Is there like. Should he be doing that, or should he be in fights? I think they didn't expect to like get contested for such a low HP tower. I think oh. is what happened. Because remember, uh, OG was smoked before Radiant's that happened. Yeah, into Roche, and then they wrapped her. We'll get this. Oh, maybe not. Count my chickens. They're really defending this tower. Right. Looks like it will go down, finally. There you go. Orb comes up, hits fly. Even the Thunder Hide's doing some damage. Roche is definitely their next objective at some point. They just walk in. Oh, it's, it's our objective now. Yeah, I thought they'd maybe try to... They, they maybe know that Brewmaster split's still on cooldown? It's... Can they take it in 10 seconds? What did Envy call this earlier? They jump in, run in with five heroes. I oh, yeah, I was there, there for that. that. That's on you, Fog. Yeah, man, it's all you. Oh, the China Roche? Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> your right. When they just walk in with everyone's alive. He said the newbie Roche. That's when the A gets stuck, gets stuck in Shaman Wards. <laughs> that was the, one of the greatest moments ever. That was... <laughs> I mean, Bristleback, he's, he's tanky, but as we've seen, he just gets tossed into the air while his team gets massacred every fight so far. Do you have to go with BKB next or something? I feel like he is the hard one, and I, I'm not a fan of necessarily the fact that he went like team items. And like, I think BKB is necessary, but then he kind of just gets ignored anyway. So, I, I, it's kind of like an awkward item progression at this point. I mean, Bog, you talked about it, Jarex, it felt like it's such a low early game, but now he's picked it up, yeah. he's finding all these kills for him, and that's what he's, his year all-in was. Yeah, he's been all over the place, actually. Him and Fly, I think their support duo is just so much stronger this time around than last time. That was really the downfall for OG. Dyer's top well, why Jarex spotted out by Invis Limp. You can tell when a puck feels uncomfortable when he's like sneaking around in Viz. He's not YOLO pushing out lanes. Like he feels so uncomfortable because he just dies to Storm or Spirit at any point in the game. And oh, on the backside, they going for two. Limp actually keeps two of them. Z Freaks to TP and Chessy Tain a ton of damage even from behind, but they can't quite get him. As for Hazel, he's going to have to pop it. He's banking. Now he finally will. Are they going to try to kill Chessy or toss him? They don't have our They don't think they have enough damage. Okay. Doom did a good job of like faking running in there and then Brew had to pop his ultimate. This feels like a, a good timing for Flexi now, right? They Brew used Coil. Rolled. They did use Coil on the back lines, but Brew ulti is down. Do you maybe go for Roche now? I think this is where OG just tries to split push the two side lanes really hard. I think Cole should. And they still have Storm, so they can still look to contest it without um, Coil. Yeah, I think Cole should definitely go for it too. Storm may have TP to bottom. I think he was up top oh, side. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, so he's gonna have to walk there. So Bottom not gonna get pushed off that far, but he will be there before it dies. Looks like they need a little more help in Roche. He's getting the bristle just getting bashed over and over. Can't do damage in the haste rune. Limp will take it. They find fly. Will he be able to get away? He takes a ton of damage here, but yeah, he's out. Nice silence by Jerex. This Arctic burn. Bristle's so sad. When he sits at half HP like this, he can actually get jumped and die. If he's at full HP, then the Arctic burn does. Yeah. It's a pickle. <laughs> yeah, quite a pickle. You sounded, you sounded like Grant. Everyone's <laughs> turning into Grant. Yeah. Quite a pickle. Yeah, what else like, you? That, I'm that, that. <laughs> I, I, I'm a talker. I talk a lot, so I guess it wears off. When I play Cornhole, I say, I say Duncan on the haters, and I don't even realize it. You are. I mean, you are up there, though. You've gotten way better. Thank you. Unlike Fog, you've regressed. I have regressed. <laughs> Limp. Set haste. Farm up middle lane. Still very scared, like you said. What's the items on Limp right now? So he has to use to look up how far is Rezo from Orchid. That's what he's gone for. Okay, so it's gonna be similar timings. Okay, yeah. similar. It's real. I mean, the game's like over for Puck if the Orchid comes out before you. Well, Doom has a Shadow Blade. That seems like a very good pickup, especially against the if you can get it off on the Brood or the Storm before they can do anything. I think it has to be Brew. I think it has to be Brew. Yeah. Brew or okay. Storm. 
in a full 5v5. And the thing about Storm is if you don't hit he'll be back by the time the fight's over. Let's stop. Yeah, if you kill him a couple of times though, it can, it can start getting annoying for Storm. Just the, this is the difference between like Wyvern and Phoenix. Phoenix, you have to kind of like hide around, you wait till you use your ulti. Wyvern, you're just poking the hard carry, putting him in at half HP the whole game. Feels Pushing good. out lanes as well, it's so frustrating to play against. Yeah, I was surprised he didn't go hood instead of soul. Doesn't do much. Does that, was Wyvern. that Kyle with a blink now on Slaughter? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he, he does. does. Okay. That's a uh, good item time as well as level 12, a little more armor minus out. Mm -hmm. They actually have another way to start the fight, so Puck can get better positioning. Let's see. Looks like Kyle's fucking down here, and uh-oh, and Z-Free. Be a nice solo kill, get some Bloodstone charges. He does have a full wand, get it cast out an ulti and Moo. I might get him. Get the Infernal Blade. Oh, oh, oh. oh he didn't heal the Doom. Does Doom... Doom cancel? Yeah, it cancels yes. yeah, 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 Absolutely. Yeah, bro. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness, that is a lot of little dudes. <laughs> what? Look at That is a lot of spiders. A lot of little dudes. And look at this. Again, half HP on Chessie. Yeah. Oh, but they go for Can they do anything? Chessie slowed by the Arctic Burns. Don't look at his S4. He's getting committed. They're going to stun on Kyle. Can they get more? He wants to get Chessie. Get to get pulled in. Will they throw him into the air to hold him down? Yep, they sure will. Jarek's here. Whoa, hey there. Lin locks him down, silences Jarek. Chessie looks like he will get burst in the back. They're in front of him now. No bristles back. And Puck. I, I just can't do much. It feels like Cole, they, they aren't starting any of these fights. And Bristol's always half HP, like you said. Yeah, he's, he's actually, like, Fly's doing so much work just poking and prodding him over and over again. Even who was a little said, Fly is probably the best defensive. I mean, he's not even playing defense game, but the best defensive support. He's playing aggressive, showing what he can do, and nice heal on Jarex. Jarex has the blink out after, never mind the orb hit him. Got him. Now Z3 goal. Punch a few more times, needs to be careful for that stone. Oldie, they have a sentry to move. Had to go for something, maybe. Tried to, gets Hulk it up, stones the flying, move a dying, and that's... It's, it's looking extremely rough. Oh no, Z Freak too. I, is this just game? I think I don't see how they win here. I don't see how they come back in this game. No, it's just haters. I mean, right, how do they come back? You guys just don't sound like Grant. <laughs> how, how do they? How do they come back? That I can't help it. <laughs> if, right. if you, got, you got any comeback method here? Yeah, you know, some, sometimes you get caught on Storm, you know, and you know maybe then you I mean, respawn you and then you deny yourself, oh, and you're okay. down to like six bullets on charges. We're talking about like resolution here, not. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Jeez. I thought you were talking all my game earlier. Uh, <laughs> oh, is that actually what happened? <laughs> no. Uh, I am like, oh, I hope not. <laughs> we were off one. I'm like, I don't remember that. Yeah, they went out this morning, dude. Would have been a decent excuse. Easy. Oh my hey, man, we're friendly here. Except for Grant. Yeah, but I'm the friendliest person here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Middle. That's an S4. Still, I still love that set, no matter what. Fish. Whooping with the... Oh yeah, the fishing rod. Yeah. Not I sure if that's a, a real weapon they would use in real life, but... Have you ever knows? been hit by a fishing rod? Yeah, bro. You're a tough guy. Did it have a fish on it? <laughs> did it, it have, a, did, frozen, no. did it have a frozen fish right, on it? More important, did it have a hook on it? Yeah, that, oh, that would, that's still the worst pain of the you uh -oh, feel. Kyle. He's going in. Oh, no, bash. No. He does have ulti up to you. He has to make it to two mob. Kyle does go down. He might have done his job, but Resolution's in the perfect spot. He, and it looks like they will finish him off. See a Rezo with the double. Oh, almost a why? triple. Now. 20 blood stuff. He's level 22. That attack speed talent. The dream. You like, is, is Kaya not as good on Storm anymore? It used to give double reduction on his little. Yeah, it was bugged to where it, it like, but it's still twice as good. Okay, but it's still, it's just not good enough to buy it all anymore with single. I still see people pick it up. I, I think it still has its merits. Yeah, it's a little bit of personal preference. The Bloodstone is kind of nice because it gives you this one really big strong timing instead of like, these small incremental things. Oh, oh that long do. jump. He predicted the blink from where Limp was going, right? We did. Didn't kill. Because Limp was back uh, by yeah. the gr high ground over there before. Now Chessie, are they just gonna hemorrhage kills one by one? Getting in front of him. Looks like it. Such a nice the play. Is oh. oh it's just like, they have these like, uh, mobile hard to kill heroes on OG. And it's okay if you have what? this constant map control, but they've thrown it away on much I Kyle needs to be careful. He's in a little bit of trouble. He gets kicked back and the stomp still hits. That's another Bloodstone charge we'll look at. And now move. Oh, the top. Oh, Give him the run off. There it is. Seafree gets him. Oh, yeah. This, I mean, with the storm that's this, this big already, I'm 30. He's all 21 at 26 minutes in. Yeah. Wow. There's an Orchid now at least on Seafree. Okay. 
They have a kill method for him, but... Alright, Z Freak's in a, in a rough situation. That's a Radiant Hill Ward, I think. He may be about to get zipped on. Yeah, he is. Uh-oh. He could get the Orchid off himself, but... He doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Oh, oh sorry. You know. I was testing him. He's gonna get him with the Impalabian <laughs> staff. I passed. Uh, you got it. Alright. Oh, that was an Arcane Rune zip, too. Dream. Clarity already on him. He's like I mean, full man, alright. It's... And this just goes to show, you know, these people who throw games in pubs because they're they're dying a lot middle lane. I mean, yeah. Rezo died twice. He was like almost two levels behind Puck. Do you think he threw the game? Because it looks like he's winning. Yeah, I, I believe he is winning. I mean, people don't think about like how the game's gonna play out. They're just like, oh, I have a bad lane. I'm pissed. So. I think this then game, again, this is OG. This game was so much like OG just like splitting up, taking the game a bit patient and methodically, and just finding these pickoffs. They, they would just poke and prod at Chessie in mid with Fly. The other two cores would be playing on the side lanes, and then Rude, like, ignored them all so game. Kills. Yeah, they just found so many kills just because of the way they split push. Oh. Ooh. I'm pretty sure it's popping. What? Slam shot. If he blinked the, dire the direction he was facing. He but bad man on that one. Rezo has a billion mana oh. regen. Oh, one ward down. But, uh, <laughs> one ward down. <laughs> This feels a lot, I just realized, this is a lot like game one, right? Complexity just dominated the first 10 minutes, and then after that, it was all OG with stronger We talked about the VP yeah. the series, there's the masters of losing the lanes and yep. winning the game. I mean, this is just night and day between the difference in supports from OG this game and last game. They had, like, the comeback supports last game. Maybe. Now we, we see maybe why Bristle isn't picked as much. He had a great lane, forced people to defend his towers, but then what does he do when, say, OG gets even a little bit of too little room for a headwind? Yeah. I mean, the, the OG supports just have such better team fights than pulls. Like, Nature's Prophet and Slaughter, they don't really contribute a whole lot in these big fights like this. They're going in. One by one, they're dying now. Resolution. 22 charges. Boldy is gonna come out and they're just gonna kill each other now, not only by OG. Oh, the stunt follow up by Jerex too. They lined up three of them. It's yeah. just... And I, I know Cole doesn't like to especially when it's game three to call it, but this one, I think even he might feel a little bit nauseous about. Chase's got by back. Don't get ahead of yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on, guys. I did say they probably wouldn't call it, but this one's just. <laughs> now they do. Lynn does it. It was a. Very, very good game by OG. Honestly, it felt. They played super. Yeah, I, I thought Complexity played amazingly. Five minutes, five to ten minutes, they looked good in their movements, and then like game one, OG, master plan, look ahead, resolution farms, they made good move.